more power. What the hell? Uh oh. She's a little bit boss! More power. Reincarnated? No, that can't be. Certainly Virgo did react. They keep talking about blood this bloody angel. Or Saint Ajora? Is that is Saint Ajora the bloody angel? Then that would mean you're here. How's it going? Finally about time I ran into your ass. That's far enough, Vamoth. Virgo's not working, so give up and hand over my sister. No, it will work. It just needs more time. You didn't hear? It just needs more blood. Lots of blood is needed for the angel's resurrection. Much bloodshed since Ajora's death, but I guess it wasn't enough. I guess I'll have to go on another rampage. <laughs> but don't worry, though. I'll sacrifice you first. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do. You'll be a dead son of a bitch, I tell you that. That way you won't miss your sister. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> the only one who's fucking anyone will be you. Yourself. Now. Hashmalam, Master, Bloody Angel, let me offer you blood darker than wine and hotter than burning magma. Oh my god! <laughs> if that's the case, the only one who's giving up blood is going to be you. Cause it's time for a boss fight versus Hashmalam. Yes, the final Lukavi demon. Let's do this. The final one just so happens to be. A giant fucking lion on two legs with pigtails. Well, somewhat anyway. Look at those biceps! Well, holy Archeus! Take a quick look at him. The Regulator. Hmm, not bad, not bad. I can see him being a furry. <laughs> I didn't know Vamov had a thing for furries. Well, there you go. In any case, watch out for Hashimalan though, because he's not a pushover. He has a spell called, well, spell, basically. It basically will inflict the stop status on, on enemies. So, you know, just keep that in mind. He also has moves like Meteor and Quake. So, make sure to, to spread out your party members and give them Shell. So that way it will prevent, you know, that shit from even happening. Trust me on this. You don't want to get hit by that. NIGHTASADO! Ew! But, yeah. I'm, go I'm gonna take try my best to take this bastard out quickly, because we ain't got time for him. Alma, hang in there! Please, open your eyes! Alma! <laughs> it's no use. You cannot wake her. 
I didn't know it. I didn't know your pops or her gut was gonna do that much. Put her to sleep for like two chapters. What have you done to Alma? Her existence impedes our goal. When she wakes, she will remember her, her mission. Her important mission to call our allies. What mission? He did say reincarnation. So does that mean Alma is the reincarnation of this bloody angel? If that's the case, we can't have this guy act then. Go! Dude! Got him! <laughs> Got him! Master, you were not awake yet?
prepare yourselves, powerless ones. Kneel before your bitch! Yes! Yes! Because it's time for a boss fight! Versus Ultima! Or Ultima, known as the High Sheriff in other ports. Yes! Ultima, the bloody angel herself. Yes! Powerful bitch! Powerful bitch. Also, Alma joins the party as a guest in this fight. So yeah, she has a ribbon equipped. Nice. I don't think I don't think you can even get that anywhere. But yeah, Ultima is scary powerful. She has an she has a move. Well, I don't think that's to her second form. Spoilers, um, two forms in this fight. So yeah, just like most um Final Fantasy final bosses. Yeah, we got final forms up in here. So, you yeah, know, there you go. Now then, I'm just going to stand in front of your crotch. Don't mind me, um, Ultima. In any case, since you are the holy angel, I would think holy wouldn't work on you. But it does. Holy explosion! <laughs> Ultima has 1,000 to 1,200 um, HP. So really, this fight is not really a threat at all. It's the second fight after this. So it looks like the, so it looks like your tits and your and your enhanced crotch didn't really help you out in this fight, bloody angel. Unless you like getting fisted up that ass. Bye! Bitch! What the Huh, as expected of the final boss. I wouldn't expect you to go down so easily. However! I have more than enough fists to go around, bitch. Take it! Take it! Ha ha! Clip that bitch's wings. Are you sure about that? Ugh. No, this can't be. You're the descendant of the one who killed me before. Descendant? No. I won't be beaten. I will not be beaten! What is she up to now? Whoa! Oh my god! I am disgusted. I will kill you! She went from being semi-sexy to a, a literal ugly demon. The only one who's dying here is you. So it's time for the real final battle versus the bloody angel, Ultima. Yes. Literally, look at this bitch. Wow. Ugly as fuck. I beg your pardon? That being said, though, first order of business is healing Alma. Alma is going to be a massive help in this final battle. However, here's the thing you should also know. Remember how much damage Beowulf's Drain did to um, Elidibus in our fight with him in the Deep Dungeon? Yeah, for some odd reason, Ultima's final form is not unlike how Elidibus' form was. They're both susceptible to Beowulf's Drain, and it deals some massive damage. It had, um... Ultima's second form has about 2,000 HP, so you'll need to literally take it out. And you might want to do it quickly, because Ultima has a really strong ability. That can also give her enhanced faith, which will make her magic stronger too. So, you know, that's a thing. In any case, yeah, Alma, you might want to move out of the way, girl. Now that I think about it, Ultima's probably going to be gunning for her. Can I get to her? Yoink! Shit. Of course not. Uh, well, if that's the case, let me try and get off my Zodiac Summon. Assuming it can hit her in time, that is. Of course, I need to get through this battle quickly. She has a move called Grand Cross, which, uh, um, spoilers for, um, a reference to a move from x -Dad. So, you know, there you go. If you don't recall what that move does, it can inflict multiple status elements. It's like bad breath, but a hell of a lot worse. So, yeah, you don't want to get hit with that shit. It is annoying. 
So, you know, there you go. Now, not the Zordor! There you go. We it can inflict petrified, berserk, and frog. So having somebody that can cure those status elements will be a massive benefit to you. But yet, I'm not wasting any time with this bitch, because if I get hit by Grim Cross, the fight will take much longer. So, unfortunately, bloody angel, it is time for you to go back to hell. See ya, bitch! Ah! Damn, not yet. Sick of these bosses stealing my fucking thunder. That's fine. Fist the final boss of the ass! Yes! Keep it going! Alright. As a matter no. She has teleport too, so even if I cage her in with BOO, she's still gonna be able to move. Ugh. That being said though. It's too bad the final boss is not at all as powerful as she claims that she is. Like, seriously, a fucking holy bloody angel? And you barely have done much to me this entire fight. And you call yourself the final boss? Really? Sephiroth put up a little bit more of a fight than you. And he was trash too. So, you know, that's just the thing. But then again, I guess I'm just, uh, I guess I'm just a cocky bitch. That's just me. Fuck off. Train that bitch! More power. What the hell? Uh oh. She's a low bearing boss! More power. Congratulations! You beat the final boss, but you died. Ooh. Yay! Yay! Wow. Well, yeah, we, we beat the final boss. Hooray! But, um... It looks like we kind of died at the end. Oof. <laughs> That's a shame. Well, let's see the ending then. Ah, there you go. With the Father's blessing, you shall return to Earth. Guide Elma be of all soul to heaven with Saint Jorus to find protection. Far, far alarm. Far alarm. Huh? If only they knew who Saint Ajora really was. Who knew the saint that people be talking about so long was actually a, an evil was actually an evil saint. Mm, what a pity. She was so young. All the siblings are gone. Yeah. The, when Ramsey said that was the end of the Bee of Alls, oof. The youngest, Mike, won't even be buried. Sad. Bee of Alls 300 year history is over now. That is so awful, man. So we save the world and we die? Oh, it's oh, that bitch is still alive? I'm sorry I'm late, Alma, Mike. I wanted to come earlier, but it was too dangerous, too risky. Oh, she's paying her respects. That's kind of her. Delita married Ovelia. Well, that much was expected. We kind of already saw that coming. A commoner brings peace to a chaotic kingdom, marries the princess, becoming king. A legend that will be passed down for centuries. Wow, Delita has come a long fucking way. D Delita may be a good person, as you said. He may look like he killed her, then let her go, when her identity was clear. I guess he identified with her, having been used by Vamav. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, probably should be going now. Wow. Did my father die fighting heroically? He sure did, dude. He sure did. He was he was badass from beginning to end. Whether whether it was politics or just fucking fighting, TG Sid lived up to the hype. I'll come back again. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, Olan? Are you really dead? I still can't believe you're really dead. I mean, you know. Damn. Uh, huh? NANI? What the he- Rams are Alma! Wait, Mike! Alma! They're alive! Or are they ghosts? He's alive! ALIVE, I TELL YOU! Huh. Thank you, Mike. Wow. How did they survive? Huh. Well, I guess we'll never know. Since then, no one has caught sight of the two. Orlan Durai rem reminisces in such a manner. Where does one find good fortune? What possesses them to live for the presence? What treasures will they leave behind? So they did survive. Cool. The only thing certain is that he is the true hero indeed. That's for sure. Delita had his part to play, though. Years later, Olan collected his experiences over a period of five years into a single syllabus. Ah, this collection known as the derived papers were to be presented at King Clemens's meeting, during which the new processor of the throne was to be selected. Hmm. But the church, which feared public disclosure of the truth, decided to arrest Olan and burn him at the stake for the crime of heresy. What? They burned Olan at the stake? The retrieved derived papers were then confiscated by the church for several hundred years. Wow. I always knew the church was corrupt, but I have uncovered the truth. Let me now revive his honor. Let his way of life be absorbed by the next generation. Author of the Brave Story, Ajilam Durai. Ajilam Durai? Wait a minute, so Olan had kids? Wow, interesting. Well, viewers, ah, let's look back on our adventure while we let the credits roll. This was such a roller coaster ride, and I enjoyed every single part of it. Viewers, as always, whenever I defeat or complete a game, I will be given my usual end game review. So, that being said, though, let's begin. As far as the gameplay is concerned, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Now, for the time on the on the PS1, it was fine, you know, it, it was good, you know, the, the graphics for the time were great too, I mean, these are graphics I grew up with. Some of the gameplay elements were really good, I mean, you're moving from square to square like most tactical RPGs would be, so that's not a shock. The problem came with some of the abilities, based on, you know, specific stats like Brave and Faith, I wish that the Brave and Faith stats didn't make it so... Your party members leave if they have too little or too much and stuff like that. I think that was kind of a shitty thing, especially if you invested all that time into the character and shit. And then you also have the fact that teleport was just... While teleport was an amazing ability by far, it was nowhere near as accurate as, let's say, Elmdor's teleport 2 ability. Which you could just zip all over the battlefield with, not, with no chance of failing. Whereas, in important times, I had to manipulate save states just to have my characters teleport to the right spot. It was fucking annoying. And I seriously doubt they enhanced it in, in the War of the Lions remake, because knowing them, I seriously doubt they would. Though I would have to play the remake to make sure, which I will be doing on the channel eventually. As far as the plot is concerned, I'm going to give that also an 8 out of 10. There were some things that we did not really see, like how, like, I wish we could have saw more about with, with Delita and Ovalia and stuff like that. Like, you know, 
what more happens after that last scene that we had with them back at, um, you know, you know, before we went back to Ebro's in chapter four. I wish we could have seen what more happened with their lives, you know? Like, maybe have some battle instances with Lolita to control him for a little bit, you know? Because it did seem like Lolita was somewhat like a co-protagonist, if you think about it. At least a little bit. So I wish we could have seen a little bit more. And I wish we could have, you know, I wish the, like, the, the Zodiac Stones actually gave you some benefits in the game. Like, it just seems like, like, we defeat Lukavi demons, but we don't really get anything out of it except their stone. And, you know, nothing else out of it except, like, maybe a little bit of lore if you examine it in Brave Story. So, you know, I wish they could have did a little bit more with that. And as far as the, um... Oh, no, I already said the plot. As far as the replay value, I definitely give that a 10 out of 10. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. Speed runs, challenge runs. You can also, you know, have, like, solo battles and stuff like this. So, like, you don't have anyone else in battle except for Ramza. But he had to be, like, uber powerful and shit like that to make it through the entire game by himself. That would be fucking amazing. That being said, though, as far as music is concerned, obvious 10 out of 10 all around. Just... Mwah. Trisection was one of the most beautiful music battle pieces in the game. In the history of Final Fantasy, Trisection is my favorite, one of my favorite battle themes. Overall, though, I give Final Fantasy Tactics for the play at, uh, for the PlayStation 1 a definite 8.5 out of 10. Like I said, for the time, the graphics and everything was amazing. There were some spotty translations, like, you know, um... There were a few instances in which things didn't, like, weren't, weren't spelled right. Some things didn't make a whole lot of sense as far as the dialogue was concerned. So, I think they might have fixed that in the War of the Lions remake, but I'll, I'll have to play that. Um, I'll have to test run the game to find out myself. But, yeah, I wish they could have did a little bit more. You know, I wish there could have been, like, some post-game stuff, too, because there's no post-game for tactics. Unless you decide to save the deep dungeon for the, um and have that done after but you know meh otherwise than that though guys thank you guys so much for enjoying my final fantasy tactics lp this is a game from my childhood that i have always enjoyed and i've always loved to play and being able to share it with you parts of my childhood here on youtube it's just it's amazing thank you guys so much for watching to my fans on youtube twitch and wherever else you may be watching from on the internet Thank you so much for enjoying my Let's Play, and I hope you guys will stick around because we have more fun in store. Um, I will be starting my Mega Man Legends 2 Let's Play, which will be my next main LP. I'll be starting that um, next Monday, so be sure to look out for that. Um, I'm going to be going back to my old schedule, so I won't be posting on Sundays, um, at, at least for now. So that's why I'm starting Legends 2 on, on Sunday instead of starting it on um, Thursday. So that way we can start the week with a fresh, clean slate of Let's Play. So, you know, there you go. Look forward to a new episode of Pokemon White 2 tomorrow. And, guys, as you already know, if you already enjoyed the episode, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for Gaming Biz from me. And, of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so you're notified of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later. Uh-huh. What's this? We got a secret scene? Ruins of Satinia Castle. Oh, Wavalia! Or I guess I should say Queen Ovalia now. Hey, there's Delita. Here you are. Everyone's been looking for you. <sighs> Delita looks good in those robes, though. Today's your bur- oh! NANI?! What the hell did she just do?! Uh, uh, Ophelia? Did she just stab him? You use everybody like that! Now you'll kill me just like Mike! Uh, uh, bitch! Uh! Hey yo, what the fuck?! Uh. Damn! Delita just killed her! Uh. 
Damn. Mike, what did you get? I... Oh my gosh! Well, <laughs> there you go! Some, it, it like... <laughs> they just end the game like that! Ovelia tries to kill Delita, and then Delita goes and kills her. But if you want to know one slight spoiler to the ending of this, Delita apparently survived, because I've read things about the plot and stuff. Delita does survive the stabbing from Ovelia, though. So, yeah, but Ovelia, you know, she dies. She dead. That's what she gets for trying to kill somebody that helped her get to where she is now. She could have lived peacefully and stuff with Delita. He was looking out for her, her best interest, too. But then she goes and just stabs and kills and tries to kill him. He survives, but she dies. Oof. Ovelia, big oof right there. But thank you guys so much for watching my Let's Play of Final Fantasy Tactics. I'll see you guys in my next Let's Play. And until next time, smell you later!